hello and welcome to my channel in our today's video we are going to learn how to crochet a newborn dress and we need the following we need yarn and i'll be using a medium weight size yarn it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's also machine washable we need a measuring tape for taking measurements and we need a pair of scissors i'll be using two two sizes of crochet hook i'll be using a 3.0 millimeter hook and a 3.5 this work is worked from top to bottom and these are the measurements we need i'll explain as we continue crocheting but if you're, you want to make the same size you can just make a screenshot but i'll make a clear uh, a clear explanation on how you can achieve for the bigger sizes so let's get into it we will start by using our 3.0 millimeter hook and to begin you're going to start by making a slip knot and then you're going to chain up three one two and three yarn over and into the first chain you're going to place a half double crochet stitch but this is how you're going to make our half double crochet stitch so after pulling up the loop you have three loops on your hook you'll yarn over and pull out one so you've made a chain there and then now complete your half double crochet stitch yarn over into the chain one that we made we are going to grab these two loops and make another half double crochet stitch but first we have to chain one and then make the half double crochet stitch and when you turn you have these two loops go ahead and make just as you are seeing in the video so this is how we make our foundation chain Continue making your foundation chain until your work stretches to 12 inches. So this is our head circumference for a newborn, 12 inches until your work is stretching. But not that, don't make it so tight. Maybe you can make this your foundation chain measuring uh, 11 11 can stretch to 12 and then from there i'm going to tell you what you're going to do next so if you haven't understood just feel free to rewind this video and rewatch it again so that you can get clear understanding on how to make this our foundation so let's meet when our work is like 11 but remember we that 11 is stretching to 12 the the actual measurements we need is 12 inches for the head circumference it's important to count the number of stitches and my stitches are 56 so we need to do some calculations here so this 56 should be divisible by four that is the first thing to note so any number you get should be divisible by four so 56 and you divide by four one here one remainder one into 16 four times so we have 14 and you see this is a very good number it's an even number and this is also very important and you're going to understand why i'm saying so so make sure when you divide you get an even number because this number we are going to divide it into two again okay so after getting this 14 we are going to add four more chains or four more stitches uh, i'll explain why we are doing so so you're going to yarn over and continue until you have four more four more chains so this is one let's meet when we have four 
So in total, we had 56 in the beginning. So plus 4, we have 60. We have 60 stitches. So now for the 60 stitches, remember at first we had 56. And now 56, you see this 14, we are going to divide it, it into 2. So that means here we are going to have sorry you're going to have seven from here to here you're going to have seven seven chains or seven stitches and then into this corner we are going to make an increase for your work to widen and that's why we added four into 56 so this is a corner where we are going to make an increase and now from here to here you're going to make 14 stitches this is for the base and then here we are going to make another increase that is the another one we added and then also from here to here for 14 stitches again and then from here to here 14 stitches and then from here to here 7 and here we have an increase also, this is another corner. We have an increase. So if you add these ones, you're going to get your 56. 7 plus 7, 14. And then 14 times 3, totaling up to 56. But now the 4 we added are here. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the for the corners. So this is going to help you to make any size, even an adult size. You can just use these steps. And if now you're, you're making a bigger size following this step, that means these measurements are going to change. Okay. These measurements have to change for you to get the size you want. And also another thing, head circumference is very important. If you're making a, a dress which has has is buttonless, so we need the head circumference because the head must go smoothly through it. So I think uh, I'm clear on that. And I'd also like if you want to try, I'd, I'd like to ask you to try making a different size. I want to know if you've clearly understood on how I explained this. So if you make another size, a different size, that means you can make any size, even if it's an adult size, you'll be able to achieve that. So these measurements are very important. If you don't have that person to take these measurements, you can just Google. Google has standard measurements for this. Okay, so now let's continue crocheting. I, I think I'm, I'm clear on this. And if there's any question about this, just feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, okay, now let's continue. So we are going to chain two, one, two, yarn over, you turn your work, and then we are going to use half double crochet stitches. So we are going to make seven, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and now into the eighth we are going to make an increase so we are going to make two half double crochet stitches chain two and make another two half double crochet stitches into the same good now next we are going to make 14 half double crochet stitches so that is one two three let's meet when we have 14 half double crochet stitches so after making the 14 half double crochet stitches into the next we are going to make another increase and increase is made up of two half double crochet stitch chain two and two half double crochet stitch as again in the same space and then we are going to make another 14 half double crochet stitches after 14 into the next stitch you're going to make an increase just as we did here and the next 
just as I had explained here we've already made this and this now we are into this so after making 14 again you're going to make an increase make another 14 make an increase and finish with seven and now we are going to meet there so if you haven't understood if you you, you can just rewind the video and see how we made the increases so let's meet when we've done when we finished our first round this is how your work will look like after finishing this round so here we have 7, 14, 14, 14, 7 stitches. Now, since our work is worked in rounds, not it's a buttonless dress, so we are going to make a slip stitch into the first chain. And you have to be very careful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is our first. So this is where we are going to make our slip stitch. Because now we are going to work in rounds. So make a slip stitch. And therefore you are going to chain 2. Turn your work. And now we continue making our half double crochet stitches. And now as the rounds increases the number of stitches also increases because of this corner we made here so this is how we go about it and when you reach into this corner you're going to place another two half double crochet stitches chain two and again two half double crochet stitches into the same chain two space and then from there we're going to continue with our half double crochet stitches So always remember in the in the in the chain two space in the corners always remember to make an increase so we will continue making these increases in these rounds until our work measures 4.5 let me confirm yes the top 4.5 or four and a half inches That is the distance should be four and a half inches. So continue and then I'm going to tell you how to finish up this one here. Let's finish up this round and this is very tricky. And if you feel confused, I'd recommend you use as a, a stitch marker. It's going to help a lot. Remember, this is our first stitch. This is where we placed our last, our slip stitch. So it's a stitch. And to, conf into, to confirm that, you can just count here. So we had seven stitches plus the two. The two increases should be nine. So you see... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means that this is this should be our last stitch. If you omit it, then your work will will not go well. So after finishing that and into this first double uh, half half double crochet stitch, not the chain two because the chain two does not count as a stitch. So into this first half double crochet stitch is where you're going to make your slip stitch and you see it's a stitch so that means when we finish our work we are going to make our last half double crochet stitch there but if you find it confusing just feel free after making the slip stitch place your stitch marker there so you're going to chain two and then you turn your work again remember the first does not count as a stitch because it's a false stitch this was the slip stitch so we are not going to work on it so you're going to skip it and into the next you're going to place your first half 
double crochet stitch so you'll continue until you reach into the corner and into the corner always remember to make an increase Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you for those who have already subscribed. You can share this information to others. And I'd also be happy to read your, your views about this. So remember to put an increase there. Best and into this first, now we continue making our half double crochet stitches so continue until your work is 4.5 inches long that is the top part it's 4.5 inches long and then i'll tell you what we are going to do from there Now our work is 3 inches long. There. So this is the armhole because according to our measurements here, the armhole depth should be 3 inches but our chest should be 16 inches. Now, for the we've already achieved the size, the armhole size, the depth that is three inches, and around it's six. But since we are measuring it like this, so we need three inches. So we need to close, but at the same time we want our chest to widen. It should the chest should be sixteen inches. So that means there's an increase we are going to make. So. As usual, let's just continue. We're going to chain two and make our half double crochet stitches until we reach into this corner. Let's meet to that corner. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Into this chain two space now we are going we are not going to make any increase but instead we are going to make one half double crochet stitch yarn over and then you fold your work like this yarn over and into the chain two space you're going to make a half double crochet stitch and then now we are going to continue making our stitches our half double crochet stitches until we reach into the other corner where we are going to do the same as we did here so let's meet there place one half double crochet stitch into this chain two space yarn over and then make sure that your work is not twisted and into the chain two space you're going to make a half double crochet stitch and then now we'll continue with our half double crochet stitches as we said earlier the chest measurements should be 16 but it's 14 now so we need two more inches so we are going to make increases in this corner and i'm going to show you how so continue making your stitches your stitches until you reach here so just before there into this one 
we are going to make two half double crochet stitches so this is an increase we are making and into the middle stitch now we are going to place three half double crochet stitches that is one two and three and into the next place two half double crochet stitches and now we, you'll continue working round until you reach into the other side then you're going to do the same as we did here the middle stitch is going to get three half double crochet stitches and the stitches before and after you're going to place two half double crochet stitches and then you finish your round So after finishing your round, we are going to take measurements to know whether we've achieved the 16, the chest measurement. So just do the same into this other side. After making our increases in these corners, now our work is 16. Now we've, get, we've got the chest measurements that is 16 inches so now we are going to make just plain half double crochet stitches until our work is 4.5 or four and a half and this is how you're going to take the measurements you're going to measure from the top here so until your work is four and a half so you see we are left with like two two to three rows i guess two to three rows and then your work is there at four and a half so let's meet when our work is there Best edge. so after reaching that height the 4.5 we are going to change the size of the hook as well as the stitch we are going to change it to so you're going to chain we are going to make these stitches so you are going to chain three plus one that is four one two three four and turn your work into the right side and if you are already in the right side then it's okay you don't need to turn your work yarn over and into that space make a double crochet stitch yarn over you're going to skip two and into the third make another v stitch sorry this was to be we were supposed to chain three plus two skip two into the next make a double crochet stitch chain two double crochet stitch into the same stitch skip two into the third make another double crochet stitch chain two and another double crochet stitch into the same let's meet here we are left with three stitches but there's no problem there's no sin any sin we are committing so you're going to skip the three and or alternatively you can make another v-stitch in the middle here and then you're going to slip stitch in the third chain it's right here so we are going to make a slip stitch there and our first round of V stitches is done. So for round two, the skirt part, into the chain two space you're going to make a slip stitch, then chain up three, and the chain three counts as our first double crochet stitch. Make another double crochet stitch, chain one, and make 
another two double crochet stitches into the next V stitch make two double crochet stitches chain one two double crochet stitches into the same into the next do the same two doubles chain two sorry we were supposed to chain two not one make two double crochet stitches into the next two doubles so this is a shell so we are placing shells into the v stitch or into the chain two spaces so into the next so this is what we are going to do all round and let's meet when we are done making our last shell <coughs> let's make our last shell together so it's two double crochet stitches chain two then two double crochet stitch into the same space and we finish our work by placing a slip stitch on top of the chain three so our round is done and on top of this double crochet stitch you're going to make a slip stitch into the chain two space make a slip stitch and then make a three chains and the three chain counts as our first double crochet stitch make another double crochet stitch chain two and into the same space complete your shell by placing another two double crochet stitch so continue <coughs> sorry for that making your shell on the top uh, in the chain two space so i'm going to place the shells so the previous chain two space going to get a shell so this is how our work will look like and for this the height should be 11 and this is how you're going to take the measurements so until you reach 11 so what I'll do until you reach 11 so what we'll do we're left with one two three four five so when, when let's meet when it's eight inches long i'll see if i'm going to add more stitches or we are going to continue just like this so let's meet when our work is eight inches long i decided to go with the same pattern to the end and this is the end now from here to here it measures 10 inches now to make it 11 the 11th we are going to make the border but now we are going to change color we'll be using this color right here so you will start by making a slip knot and you insert your hook into the chain two space just here in the back chain three and our chain three counts as our first double crochet stitch
place. Three more double crochet stitches, totaling up to four. Chain three, one, two, and three. And into this space here, you're going to make a slip stitch. And then make three more doubles into the same space. So this is got, it's called a picot picot stitch I'm going to single crochet there sorry Here in the middle i'm sorry and then on top of this space here again make one two three and the fourth one chain three one two three and here make a slip stitch and then continue add three more double crochet stitches so that is one two and three therefore make a single crochet stitch there and then you continue like that and let's meet when our work is when let's meet here let's make the last one together one two three and the fourth is the middle stitch so you're going to chain three one two three so this is where we are going to insert our hook to make that slip stitch make a slip stitch and this is called a picot stitch so add three more double crochet stitches so this is our third and to finish this round we are going to make a single a, a single crochet stitch there and in order to join this into the first chain of the second here we're going to make a slip stitch chain one and with your pair of scissors you're going to cut the yarn so this is how the stitch looks like i really love this stitch So now we're going to make border around here but now we are going to change our the size of our crochet hook we're going to use number three 3.0 so as usual you start by making a slip knot and start here at the back and remember we also need to join this space here so insert your hook there make a slip stitch to join like that chain one make one single crochet stitch to that place where you slip stitched chain two one two make another single crochet stitch there 
you're going to skip one stitch and into the next make another single crochet stitch chain two one and two into the same make another single crochet stitch skip one into the next make another single crochet stitch chain two single crochet stitch into the same space skip one into the next let's meet here where we started we are finishing our round by just placing a slip stitch in the chain one here in where we made a single crochet stitch not not chain one so make a slip stitch chain one and with your pair of scissors you're going to chop off the yarn so this is how your work will look like this is the border and we are going to do the same in the hands in the sleeves so another thing i want to make a strap let me show you in order to put it here so the strap this is how i go about it and i'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so you leave a little bit long chain here and make a slip stitch then you're going to round it around the figure like that one color whichever you choose and now we are going to make the chains and i'm going to make like a hundred so this is how we go about it you wrap around the hook yarn over and pull out like that Finally, we've made we find we've made our pretty dress. So let's take the measurements again. So remember, we said in the armhole is three inches, and this is for a newborn, three inches there, and the measurements of the of the chest, sixteen inches, full length, eleven inches what else yeah so that is it i decided to change color that was just a demo because i i felt that color white making that example with color white uh, won't be seen clearly so that was just a demo but i used color white to make this ribbon here or strap whichever so this is it i'm thinking also of making a bolero for this dress matching with this dress so stay tuned please if you find this if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't also forget to for subscribe to my channel like share share and share so that was it for today thank you thank you for staying to the end and see you in my next video Bye bye